It's Robert Peppo with episode one of Small Business Uncensored. So today we're going to talk about social media. So I've been on social media for quite a while now, a um, few different platforms, trying different things, and I also reached out to some people to talk about what I think their strategy is, I'm going to talk about what my strategy is, and then I'm going to get into what things you can try, and what things I've done. So I'm always going to bring you what's worked for me, what I've done, not what I think I'm going to do, not what I want to do because I don't know the results of that. I'm only going to talk with people who have done it, who have either done it like I've done it or done it better than me. That's it. Okay. So today I'm going to talk, shout out a few people that kind of gave me a blueprint, um, kind of things that I've done. So I was thinking about who to reach out to and Jenny Taylor is awesome. She gave me a really good tidbit that I want to start with, okay? And I already knew this about her, but I wanted it from her, um, kind of the points that she thought were relevant. Her main point is to be authentic. Now, let me tell you why. You're going to meet with these people. They're going to go frequent your business. They're going to interact with you. And if somebody follows you, they're going to see a lot of stuff. So if you're not authentic, people are going to see right through this. In fact, that's why I post so much. So then everyone says, look, you live that life. You do that. You post so much, it's a full-time job, you must be doing this, this is legit. Um, so that's, that's twofold. One, I do that to be authentic. Same thing she said, right? Um, I also do that so people hold me accountable. So if I say I'm gonna do something, I better do it, just like this podcast. <clears throat> but what she was saying is being authentic, that don't put out what you think your audience wants to hear, put out <clears throat> what is unique to you what's relevant to your life or your business. And this can be for personal branding and also your business. These days, those things go hand in hand. Um, in fact, things are tr so transparent that people want to know the face and the people behind the companies. <clears throat> it's a huge selling point. And it's exactly why I shouted out Gary Vee, Andy Frisella, Joe Rogan. These people's lives are on social media. Pretty much everybody who's doing anything's lives are out there. Now, whether that's a good thing, whether you agree with it or not, it's just the way that it is. Okay, so being authentic and being truthful and being honest in all that you do on your social media platforms brings the people around you that you want. Okay, these brings these clients in that are like-minded so you don't have to put on a show or a facade or be something else. So remember that. Entry-level stuff to business. Being authentic. Staying true to yourself. If you're going to try and cater to everybody, it's never going to work. It's literally never going to work. You can have the best product in the world. Someone's always going to find a problem with it. It's just the nature of humanity, to be honest. And you'll see that once you start pushing the limits. You're not for everybody and everybody's not for you. So don't try to be. Be focused on what you do, how you do it, and be really good at it and stay consistent. Okay? Um, and this is exactly why you must have a personal page and a business page. To me, it's not one without the other anymore. It used to be. Even early on in social media, um, I never blended them. Um, I just didn't know if I was going to do that or not. But it, it turns out the people that I look up to, the people that are absolutely crushing it, have both. They combine them. They bring their authenticity into their business pages. And then they keep their regular personal pages kind of the same. You know, I'll tag everything. I'll share some pictures of Peppos or American Dreams <clears throat> or whatever I'm working on in my fitness and all that um, to bring everything together. Now, I'm blending 45 years of my father's kind of old school legacy, um, the business as it stands, and I'm trying to bring my own elements into that. And I'm doing that in a way um, where I can keep my father's legacy with sort of the rogue ideas that I want to do. If you're on my social media pages now, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, it's not always easy. It's always a challenge, um, but you have to do that. So when I'm building my pages, I'm being authentic, showing you what I do, and I'm going to combine all that together, right? Um, and so, oh yeah, personal pages, business pages, when you're being authentic, another thing is always engaging with people. Okay. Social media is used to get your customers in the door, to build relationships, uh, to get your products out, to let people see you, um, and hope that th something comes from it. Most things aren't going to happen today. Okay. We've done a ton of advertising from, uh, got everything print ads, direct mail ads, online ads, um, TV, radio, we have literally tried it all. And we are in a unique position now in the era that we're in with social media being incredibly cheap um, 
and free basically. So basically, if you can do social media well, you can have incredible free advertising. Um, cost per dollar, social media is the cheapest and most effective. So what I love about it is it gives you your analytics literally as it's happening and directly after. And if you literally just look at what it tells you, you can make a better decision next time. Old school ways, if you got a physical thing in, yeah, people were seeing it when they received it in the mail and it might resonate with them and stay on the top of their mind for a little bit, but it's gone. If they don't come in, you get like a one or 2% return. Um, TV, radio is the same. Uh, it just doesn't drive the numbers the way social media does and you can track that instantly. Not only that, if they click the follow button or something, they're with you, they're engaged. Um, and the cost for it is literally one hundredth of the cost of it for a big reach. So if you build your platform on your own, which you have to do, and it's just a few dollars will go a long way, okay? And we don't do that much, but it, it does serve a purpose to gain um, new followers, new exposure, and to see what marketing efforts are working, all right? Um, but engage with these people. When you put something out there and somebody comments on you, respond to them. Um, if somebody shares your thing, say thanks. If you put a poll up, like on Instagram, respond to the people that respond to you, share it. Um, when somebody engages with you, they feel like they're not only part of what you're doing, but part of the brand, um, if that's what you're going after. That's exactly what I did, um, reaching out, engaging with people in fitness, um, with army stuff, and in business, like Pepo's business page, for instance, I follow like, all restaurant industry type people and I engage with them. Um, personal page, I engage with all fitness people, military people, like-minded people, and I engage with them. Some people have really big followings. So they give you one or two shares here or there, you're gonna gain from that, and you're gonna gain exposure, but that doesn't happen if you're not engaging with them, legit sharing their stuff for free. You're not getting anything in return. Um, saying, dude, they're crushing it, because they are. Then they're doing a lot better than me, and so I'm always giving them props on what they're doing, and guess what? That they share that back, because it's free. Um, if someone's supporting you, it's the right thing to do. And so get out there, engage, look at every review, look at every comment. And that's a full-time job, like I said, like on my TikTok, for instance. Um, I have almost 2 million views and there's literally thousands and thousands of comments. And TikTok was limiting me the other day when I was trying to respond to everybody's comments, say thank you, thank you. It was like, yo, take a break, you've done too much. Because it seems like you know, you're just doing some auto responses in generic, and but I was literally on there reading and commenting to every single one of them. So be authentic, engage with everybody, and that's gonna turn around and keep them with you. All right, um, use every platform. So my biggest ones are Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all very different, even though they're kind of doing the same thing. Facebook's old school, but it still works really good for traditional type old school advertising, but it's still better than everything else out there. Um, advertising, and dollar per advertising works much better. Um, brings to my point when I was sitting down with a guy, Dan, um, from Flip Switch, uh, social media platform. We had a really good conversation. Again, this kind of, this uh, relationship was formed on social media, um, and we had a great conversation. I learned a lot, and we're gonna work together in the future. So um, engage with people that can show you different things, talk to you about what you're missing. Um, literally, people that are just literally doing the same thing and want to help each other. Um, and hopefully you can grow that whichever way that happens. And so get out there and engage and you never know what's going to come from it, but using each platform as it's intended, um, and crushing it on there. And it's a full-time job, like I said, but use it. Okay. Instagram for pictures and videos, quick stuff on the story. I love the stories because it gets out so much more content without fucking up your page. Okay. TikTok, completely different platform. Okay. And understand why you have to be on these things and why they're different. Don't try and use them the same way because it doesn't work like that. Facebook doesn't want to be Instagram. In Instagram doesn't want to be TikTok and TikTok sure as hell don't want to be like anybody else. And so when you use that for personal branding, you've got to follow these trends of what other people are doing and that's going to gain you exposure. It's not selling out. It's being smart. Okay, it's not jumping on these random trends, seeing what's gonna happen. It's about using these platforms that are free and that are out there. Because if you wanna crush it in life, you gotta do that. And the people that aren't doing it, aren't gonna win. That's just a fact of the matter. And next year, there's gonna be a new thing out that you better jump on, okay? Then once you jump on these platforms and kinda learn them a little bit, then you can put your personal touch on there and see what you're doing. Uh, for instance, I just started a Pepo's business TikTok, but I had to put six months into mine, grow it, pretty good and get several viral videos to see what was working and why I did that. 
Um, so now with the Pepos page, I can say, okay, now that I understand it a bit more, what am I gonna bring to the table for a business side of it and revenue stream that way, okay? And I still don't really know, but I'm gonna start doing it, learn it, watch my analytics, see what's, see what's hitting, and do more of that. Um, so be consistent. Have a look too. So the look is important. Is all your branding looking the same? If somebody goes to Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, whatever, is it looking the same so that brand recognition, are they seeing you the same way? For myself, is everyone seeing me in the same light, how I wanna be portrayed, how I want my businesses to look? Um, if it's not, just come up with a look, make it clean. If you slide to my Instagram right now or if you're on Instagram watching this, look at my page. It's got a consistent theme, uh, picture, a video, and then a quote, because I'm all about that quote life. Um, and I stick with that. And I only vary it for seasons when I like change colors or something. That's it, and you can see that go all the way down. I make all my own quotes. Um, I don't pick them out from anywhere. I use a little fucking free app on my phone to make it look dope, and that's it. Um, but that's that's the way I do it. That's my strategy because I've seen other people like uh, Andy Frisella um, and his wife Emily how they do it, and it looks looks really dope. And I really like those clean pages like that. And it keeps it consistent, so people know what they can expect from you. Um, and that's why you can use stories for everything else. That that can be your authenticity, your day to day. Um, watch your analytics, uh, but. Be willing to put yourself out there. This is what social media is for, man. You're in the limelight, but that's what it is. You might be in the limelight anyway. If you're gonna grow a business or you're doing your thing, uh, you wanna get exposure, you're going to be in the in the limelight. So control it and make it exactly what you want to do for you. Um, so yeah, be willing to put yourself out there and don't worry about what anybody says. There's gonna be haters no matter what, literally no matter what. The nicest people that I know still get haters and have to respond to them. Um, like uh, the dudes on TikTok with the face tattoos, fuck, I'm forgetting their names right now. They're the dopest dudes. They put out nothing but positive vibes. And there's so much hate on their stuff. But guess what? They're doing it. And these people commenting on it, they're not. You know, And so that's a lot less um, going to happen because there's so much more love and support out there. But engage with everybody. And those negative comments, honestly, just let them go. Those people are worthless. They don't matter to you. They're going to be there. Deal with it. Be built for it. And understand that life isn't always sunshine and rainbows, as we all know and just keep crushing it. It is a full-time job, but this is my first one. I hope you got some uh, good knowledge out of this. There'll be much more to come. Any guests that wanna jump on, please send me a DM, uh, jump on with me, we can make something happen, all right? Stay badass, y'all. Do whatever it takes, small business uncensored.